Welcome to Buggery and we are back with another Angular video where we'll be building a to-do list application. So the purpose of this video is actually to build a mobile web for this uh, to-do application. So here I'll be showing you a demo of how the end result is going to look. Right, you will have this to-do list where you can have a search where you can search from your to-do list, right? And note, it's real time. <laughs> yeah, and then you yeah, are something of that sort. But guys, I also have a challenge for you is if you can get me to 50 subscribers, I know it's it's possible. And then I will release another video where I do the add functionality where a user can then add a new to-do list and also that delete and done. All right, with that being said, now let's get to work. <laughs> enough with the intro and let's get to work so I've got my project set up for us so what I'm gonna do is first work you through on the global styles that I have so basically what I prepared is having that uh, box sizing to border box and then having the padding to zero margin zero and the width to 100 right so although we're doing a to-do list and this is uh, probably a, 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 a web right but we'll be building for a mobile web to-do list right so let me just run the ng serve to get our project running to see if everything is still fine all right so I also while still that is running I also downloaded some uh, pretty nice icons there which is your check icon, right? And then we've got the plus icon and the trash icon. So yeah, our project is running now and let's go. Yeah, as you can see, this is still blank, right? All right, so let's go about adding our folders here. So we'll start by adding a components folder, right? And then we'll add our pages folder. Uh, pages folder right and then let's stop the project and just do our CD in our SRC app then components folder so we're gonna create um, some components here whereby our first component will be ng generate component is our search bar component right we'll wait that for that to finish and then we'll create another component um, which will be our to-do card component right this will store our cards for this to-do list right okay let's wait for that to finish and we'll now go out of this directory and go to our pages uh, pages um, folder and then here we'll generate a component uh, generate C component which is just our home page right well one would argue why I added this router modules whereas it's just gonna be um, <laughs> we're just gonna be diving for the first page the only the home page but I just like putting it in there right um, we like to say path and then when the path is empty we want to navigate to a component which is our home component so what we'll have to um, then do now is run an ng serve to see what we've got on our results right that's loading and let's wait and see <laughs> if we've got something in there all right that's done and yeah home page works so now we see that something is showing at least <laughs> uh, so now let's go about um, creating some stuff in our home component right um, so what we'll have in here we'll just have a home um, 
I'd like to say it's home container, right? So in our home container, and then we'll have our hero. This is our hero content, right? And then after that, hero content will have um, let's just say app search, right? Search bar in there. Let's see. Okay, we'll see that our search bar is there. But now what we would like to do first of all is create um, the for the hero we want to create a background let's go to like this is the styling right oh, hero content that's why I like copying these things so that I don't make mistakes right uh, this is gonna be for our hero content so we'll make the background background um, so here we'd like to make it a linear gradient right and then uh, to right to top right right and then an RGB a right and then have zero 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 point five eight um, I like having that first done then using this because this just makes life easier for me so yeah we've got that set it up right we want to drag this to there now what's going on want to have a greenish color right wanna lower that wanna take this guy somewhere here and then we'll just copy this guy and have it there right and then for this as well you can just try having a slight color yeah and see what we have so we we'll wanna say the width of this would like that to be a hundred percent right and the height to be 220 pixels and let's see what we have all right also now we see um that we've got that <laughs> set it up for us right um now let's see uh that's pretty much showing there and then yeah it is what it is um so what we would like to do is then um go about creating something on our um, search um so we'll go to our search bar now right so all we need here in our search bar is just to have an input uh with just a placeholder right which is just gonna say search <laughs> isn't that nice <laughs> And then here, all we'll need to say is input. So we want to have an input and then we want to have the outline to none, right? Uh, we want to say border. We want to say, set our border to none. Border to none. Uh, to none. And then we want to say our box shadow. Uh, box shadow right so box shadow will be RGBA right 0 0.0.0.0.25 0 .0 right and then that will be set to 0 and then 4 pixels and 5 pixels um, I think there that's what we needed then we'll want to set that to 10 pixels right and let's see what we have in the meantime meanwhile <laughs> um so now we know that we've got our inputs there showing up right um so what we'd like to do is set its width to a hundred percent so and then we'd want to have a border radius of five pixels uh let's see what we have now for now yeah we've got that there 
and then we'll now do the fixing on this side this side uh, which is now our home page so let's go to our home page to fix that styling right so here we would want to have something of like that says maybe search search display yeah that's just a not a bad name so we would want to set our padding for this search display right because we don't want to set our we don't want to we didn't want to set our um, what do you call this we don't want to set our um, actual sizing of the, the the input box on the search component we just wanted to resize it on the actual yeah I, I think you get what I mean <laughs> so we'll say zero pixels and then left and right we will make that to 10 let's see what we have uh, so did that work oh I didn't say that so let's see um, so what we needed to do right here is also at this box sizing uh, which will equal to border box and see yeah okay that's working us that's working out for us and then let's just set the margin top to pretty much 10 pixels right is that fine yeah that's that's something at least you've got something right there so what we'll want to do then is also come right here on the home page right and have um something called uh maybe the date date uh container container right after having the date container we'll then want to format our date so this is date uh um <laughs> huh. how do we want to structure this we want to have a uh, date uh left <laughs> and day name <laughs> you'll see where i'm going with this right so what i want to do over here is have this guy for the uh we would want to have this guy for the date um right or should i rather say day right uh this is going to be the day um and then this is going to be the month year Okay, this is gonna be the month here right so what I'll have over here is probably the day which is like the 16th I'm just making up the, the day today uh, is the 20 something <laughs> yeah so and then we'd wanna also have uh, the the month right so the name so this is just the month right this is just gonna be August. oh let me just run november right and then at the bottom of that we would want to have okay let me just have that as a right p tag and then that will be year right and another year is 2021 yeah let's have that saved and then over here we'd want to have the day which is tuesday right so this is tuesday so let's see what we have yes all right so we see that we've got that guy so the first thing that we'd want to do over here is have this guy over here which is a date container right and set its display display to flex right and flex wrap to wrap right so, so what do we want to see want to see that in one line is it yeah it is in one line and then we'd want to come to this um date left right so the date left we'd want to do the same thing for that date left 
Um, so just to have it easy, we'd wanna do the same thing there, right? Okay, so now let's see what we have. We've got that and that. So if we inspect, we see, okay, that's fine, that's fine, right? And then what we'd wanna do is for the date com container, date container, right? We wanna set um, it with uh, to or padding, right? Uh, padding, we'd wanna set that to 10 pixels, right? With a padding. Okay, that's fine. And then, uh, come over here for the day. Yeah, this is this is taking some bit of some time, uh, but you'll get where I'm going to with this font size, right? The font size will be set to twenty pixels. Uh, no, 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 no. That's fifty pixels. Font weight um, is five hundred. No, let me just make it seven hundred right uh now let's see what we have yes okay um <laughs> when i say display flex and then um align when align align its items to center all right yeah that's pretty much fine um so let's just increase um, this guy over here and set that to like 20 pixels. We want to set the, that to 20 pixels and let's see how, how, how we have it. Yes, that's, that's nice, right? And then what we'd also want to do is come right here and set these guys over here. So we'd wanna say this month and year, right? We would wanna say the font size is 16 pixels, right? And then the font weight, uh, font weight is 500. Let's see what we have. Did that work? Oh, no, 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 no. That's for the P tags inside there, right? Now let's see if that's gonna work out. Uh, so if we change the color to gray, is that is that gonna work? Yeah, the color is changing. Okay, so what we'd wanna do is then say um, the margin, right? Margin is set to zero. So it's margin is set to zero and we'd want to increase this to pretty much 20. Um, is 20 working for us? Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's working for us. Um, and then what we'd want to say is display flex, right? And just align those items to the center. Align items to center. Ah. Uh, Nah, that's not working. Okay, let's take these guys right over here. Mm -hmm. See, what I want to show you is that with the um, styling, it's just a matter of trial and error. <laughs> so, yeah, so justify. Now nah, we'll need to change this display direction so this is flex direction is going to be set to column right and then justify content is set to center so that's the case yeah this is on one line right so what i would want to then do over here is since i have set this date um uh, container so this date container is set to flex right so for the date uh container but I have it here, out here. So for the date container, I'd wanna justify its content to space between. Cause now I wanna separate that, those two, right? 
and then what i would want to do then is now for the month um what what did i call this what did i call this this guy this day name <laughs> okay so for the day name what i would like to do there is set the display to flex right and then align its items um to end <laughs> is that gonna work yes that's working just to push it here on the bottom and then i'll just then try to set all these goody things right here uh to have that the same all right <laughs> yeah we managed we managed to 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 have something there right so now what i would then like to do is just to have a bit of some margin um here between the actual date so this is margin left this will equal to maybe four pixels just to space these two have some bit of some spacing there let's make it seven seven pixels just to have some bit of some spacing uh, that looks proper and nice to me right so what we'd want to then do now is then we'd want to uh, set like the cards like the actual cards that are going to show uh, for our tasks right so for that uh, we'd want to come to this card component over here right so before we have that on the card component we'd want to say um to do our dot to do display to do display right so this is going to display all our cards that are going to be showing right so what we'd want to have is um display this app dot to, to, to do card and we just want to see if that's going to be rendered yeah that is rendered so before we even start we'd wanna do the stylings or oh, what should we start with let me think um yeah let's 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 just start with the styling i have made the decision okay so this is the to do container to do to do container right so after having this to do container we know that uh, we're gonna have content content in this uh, container so this is to do this is the to do um, info right this is gonna be the to do info all right so in this to do info we'll know that um, we'll have something in there right so p tag our first p tag will probably have the name so p dot uh, name so this is task uh, name right um, discussion right and then this will be another p tag which will have our um, actual description right so we've got that there um info con content right so we'd want to have all of these guys into this info content right and then what we want to have is also our button <laughs> button section uh, I should have said info section <laughs> uh, that's a nice name let's see what we have yeah we've got our discussion we've got that and we've got that right so first and foremost before we even start what we'd like to do is have this button content right have a styling for that so we want to see the border left right want to set that to a specific color so the border left um 
want to see the border left with the right that will be three pixels right border left color right or let me say style first right that's solid i know we could have that in one line i guess <laughs> yeah uh border so this is border uh left uh color i uh, will set that to blue i think that's not bad right and then we'd want to set a height to the sky right or do we let's see okay that's that's still proper that's still proper and then we'll set the padding we want to set the padding top and bottom to 10 pixels right and left and right to yeah i think that's fine 10 10 pixels uh not bad not bad at all not bad at all okay so we've got that sorted out for us <laughs> nice um so after that's been done we'd want to come to this guy which is our display um where we're actually displaying this actual uh, uh um uh, to do card right and then here we'd want to have something of this sort where we set our padding top and bottom to 10 pixels and 20 pixels for our left and right and that's still not bad at all <laughs> okay uh, sorry for that let's go to our to do card right and set our um we want to set our box shadow box shadow to rgba so we would set it to zero four pixels and five pixels and rgba to 0 .0 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.25 let's see yep we've got our card set up <laughs> okay that's that's looking all nice um i would like to say five pixels for the top and bottom and then 10 for the left and right how's that looking i think that's a bit better right okay so another thing that we'd want to then do is since we've got our information and everything is set up right um i would firstly like to also create my buttons so i would want to say delete um now nah, it's better if i have uh um i said i've got these icons over here in my assets folder so slash assets folder and then um what did i call this <laughs> trash um that, that's for the trash right and then we've got one okay so i'll call this delete delete icon right and then i also have a check right and then i'll call this uh done this is for my done icon all right let's see let's see what i have <laughs> that's looking all nice <laughs> okay so what i would like to do then is have my image right uh have a width of 50 pixels how's that gonna look hmm that's quite big 30 pixels how's that gonna look okay uh yeah not bad at all oh 25 pixels <laughs> i tried an error yeah not bad at all so what i would like to then now do is now have a proper styling so the first one has to be done so this has to be that check um svg right and then what i would like to then do is have the styling over here where is this to do info so for the to do info right to do info so it's display it's display should equal to flex yes to have that in one line 
yeah and then we'd want to say um justify the content to space between okay space between these guys are there and then what i would then want to do is have those aligned to center okay but first of all we we'll want to just check that um okay so we'd have this button section button button section right so it's display equals to flex as well ah oh, man flex right and then it's align items will be centered and that should bring it to the bottom okay nice nice that's looking all nice so what i would then want to do in that instance is come right here and style my <laughs> so i'll have the class for done done icon and i'll have a class for delete icon uh for delete icon right and then come back here and have done i uh done icon right background for the done will be green green right and then for the delete icon delete slash dash icon right that should be the background should be eight red <laughs> the background is red not eight <laughs> that's looking all fine um so what i will then want to do right here is have actually oh uh, man no what's going on <laughs> there's something wrong okay let's set the height as well to 25 pixels right yeah those are equal right and then what i would then want to do is set the border radius right to five pixels how's that gonna look not bad not bad and margin uh right uh border radius to five pixels and then margin left of this will be set to three pixels let's see how spaced is that yeah and then i'd want to set its padding so these guys padding um i want to set its padding to five pixels which let's see yeah five pixels is not bad <laughs> okay okay or let's make it three I think five is a bit bigger uh three three pixels right and then now what we'd want to do is now set the um delete icon hover right and this done icon um the hover for that uh this has to be a dot right and then we want to say uh, cons uh, uh, cursor equals to pointer pointer right its cursor will equal to a pointer right so here we also want to have a border radius of pretty much six pixels how's that six oh uh, six pixels is not bad uh six pixels no 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 let's just remove this border radius <laughs> that's not gonna work as for us it ain't gonna work out for us right so all we see now is we've got something and it's showing on our mobile view right so obviously on the mobile we can see the hover did we even add the hover um delete icon hover or should i do that let me just say image hover hover 
right? And then the cursor, cursor equals to pointer. Let's see if that's gonna work. Whoa. Yeah, that is working, right? So I could always just remove this, this guy. Yeah, and that is showing, right? So what we'd like to do now, right, is come to this home and just have this background to blue, no, uh, to gray, just for now, just for now. You'll see what I'm trying to do with this, right? So what I would like to do is set this guy's uh, width to pretty much 80%. So the width should be 80%, right? So that's 80%, right? And then I would want to say the margin, margin um, zero for the top and bottom, right? And auto for the left and right, right? So that's set to that side. Right, and then I want to say transform translate y, and then I want to minus that to pretty much five percent. Let's see how that's gonna bring it up minus five percent. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, that was removed. <laughs> that curly brace now, nah, five percent is not working, so let's try fifteen percent. Uh, 15% is not that much, right? Uh, let's try 20. Yeah, 20 is not bad. <laughs> so, yeah, seeing that we've got that already set up for us, right? So, now what we need to then do is now change that color back to white. Uh, what's this? Pink, white. That's white, right? Yeah, I want to set that to white. All right, and then have its border. Border. So I want to say the height of this guy should be pretty much 300 pixels, right? And then the border. No box box shadow right so the box shadow should be zero four pixels and five pixels and rgba as zero 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 point two five <laughs> point two five right yeah Right now, I can increase this to say 350. 350. 350 isn't bad, right? And then I want to say it's scroll because I want to say it's over overflow. Why, if the content is overflowing, okay, let me rather show you this first, right? Say I've got multiple of these cards, right? These cards. I don't know I don't know if is that fine you see now since this screen is ending up here but now these things are overflowing outside of that card this display uh, to do display so what we'd like to do in that instance is have this overflow Y to be a scroll right and just set that to be important so that's nicely scrollable so we'll see in our mobile app, this is nicely scrollable. And even if we had to remove this, it's our application is quite responsive. Nicely. This is nice. This is nice and responsive, right? Uh, yeah. So going back to our mobile view and then um, what we'd want to then do is in this to do, right? We'd want to set the margin top, right? So we've got spacing between our cards. So that's 10 pixels is not bad. Yeah, so we've got like that nice spacing between our cards. So now we can see that we've got this to-do list showing, right? That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> um, so what we would then want to do is come to our home page, right? 
man I could just remove that now for now and then I'll just say our add section add <laughs> section right um, add section and then what we want to have is have like sort of like an image right an image for our ad which is going to be that slash that that assets folder and this will be this icon plus and then this is going to be our ad icon now let's see let's see how's that set up okay I have a mistake yeah I did a mistake right and then in our ad section we've got that image so we'd want to come to our CSS here and say in our ad we've got that image which we'd want to set to its width to pretty much uh, 50 pixels or 100 pixels how's that how's 100 is 100 too big I think a hundred is a bit big so let's set that to 60 pixels and the height to 60 pixels 60 60 pixels is that don't think that's that big right and then what we'd want to do is say display to flex and justify content to center nicely centered <laughs> this is nicely centered so what we would want to then check out is this guy over here that um, we're asking ourselves the question why is that set on the bottom bottom okay um, what we'd like to do in that instance is say um, margin margin bottom uh, margin part is that gonna work <laughs> let me see ah no, no 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 that's not working um i don't wanna set the positioning right because that's okay i could i could let's just say positioning is relative right and then bottom bottom is pretty much uh let's just say five percent how's that How's 5%? Okay, let's make that 10. 10%, is that going to be too much? Ah, uh, man. Hmm. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Because we've got that button there. So if we had to say 50. Let's see if we had to say 50. To just see if that's working. Alright. Alright. Now let's go back here and have our padding um, this padding for this not the hero content for this guy over here right this container what we needed to do for that container is to have its height height to a hundred view height yeah now that's working so now here we can just make this five percent because 50 is now is too much for us yes yes five fish percent is fine or we can make that seven percent <laughs> yeah you you get the point but with this you can just play around with that and remove that now we can scroll right what you then want to do is uh, also try playing around here with your search component we could make that 15 15 pixels right and then for that search display we can make this pretty much 20 pixels just to have it slightly yeah that that that's proper <laughs> that's proper okay and then another cool thing that we can most now do is for our card itself right because we'd want to have like different colors for each card 
so in that instance what we'd like to then do is come right here right and have an ng style right and then we'd want to set uh, uh right we want to see the border border left and then color uh, border left color right and that will equal to color right so so guys this this is a challenge for you guys since we're done um so if you guys get me to 50 subscribers i'll make another video where i implement the delete function right where we delete the actual to do right and the adding of that to do to do so actually i will have a form whereby we actually create this to do and then upon adding it and then it will show here on our list of to do's and actually have a delete functionality for that and what i love about this application is that it's also responsive so for bigger screens i can have there right and i can still have class informatics right looking all nice well that being said guys please peace don't forget to like share and subscribe peace